Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Jeff Me Jones video blog or vlog. I am Jeff Jones. And uh, before we get started, I just want a few announcements. This is the first post in the video blog. Uh, I got a lot of, besides just being personal um, blog type stuff, I'm also going to talk about uh, technology and just things that are interesting to me. And that's why this post is up uh, now. And I also want to apologize for not having video in the first vlog that I'm doing. Uh, this is going to be audio only for right now. Um, I just my camera setup. I just don't want to use that stuff yet. We're going to get into that, but not yet. Oh, and my next post or post in the future, I'm going to be doing a how-to about how to stream video from your Xbox, your PC to your Xbox, and um, we got some exciting things coming up in my vlog. So you know, subscribe and um, you know, stay tuned to the post. Okay, so let's jump into the topic. The new Samsung Galaxy Tab. This is a tablet from Samsung that's going to be coming out uh, later this summer. Uh, before we talk about Samsung's tablet, let's talk about the king of tablets right now, which is the iPad. Uh, and that's my opinion. I mean, but the only if someone was to ask me, I'm a technology guy. So if people who weren't as technology savvy, friends and family, come up to me and ask. You know, I heard about these tablets. Which one should I buy? The only credible one I can say right now out would be the iPad. And the iPad 1 was already blowing anything out of the water as far as um, its competition goes. And the iPad 2 was blowing the iPad 1 out of the water, personally. And, and what I mean by blowing out of the water, I just mean better. I mean, uh, comprehensible, easy to use, fun. Nice device and fun is relative, of course, but you know, if I was to recommend something to someone, I would have to do the iPad. I have used the iPad. I have used, uh, I have bought personally. I only use the iPad, I didn't buy it, but I've used personally two other tablets uh, from less reputable uh, manufacturers, uh, ViewSonic and I forget the other name of the other one. These, the other two were both Android tablets. And I mean, compared to the, uh, compared to. Oh, I use the Samsung Galaxy Tab 1, and that's just a big Android phone. I mean, my phone did the exact same thing, exact same way. Um, but compared to the iPad, I mean, it, it just faster. It's, 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 things didn't freeze. It didn't crash as much, at least for the time that I had it in my possession. Okay, so how does this, how does this Samsung Galaxy Tab stack up to the iPad 2? Because that's the latest one out. You can't compare it to the iPad 1. Uh, and personally, I haven't used, of course, I haven't used the Samsung Galaxy Tab yet. I haven't used the, the the iPad 2 either. But on paper, on specs, it seems like this Galaxy Tab is going to be a, a formidable opponent. I don't think it's going to be better. Let me step. Let me start off by saying that I don't think it's going to be better at all. And 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 a lot of people say, oh, you're a fanboy of Apple, or you're a fanboy of Android. I guess you could consider me an Android fanboy more than an Apple fanboy, but I'm not a fanboy of nothing. I just appreciate quality equipment. So back to where I was saying, the, the Samsung Galaxy Tab, uh, they're gonna the new one that's gonna be out this summer. They're gonna have two versions, a lot of versions, but two size form factors: a 10.1 and a. I'm looking at the press release here, and an 8.9. And it's gonna go. It's gonna go head to head with the iPad 2. Now it's late to the game. iPad 2 has been out, but I, personally, if you were to ask me, uh, I got the money right now, and I want to purchase. Well, how much is the Samsung Galaxy Tab gonna be? We're gonna talk about that in the future, but in a minute. But um, if you were to ask me, I got the money now. I want to go out and buy a tablet. I want one of these tablet devices. Then should I buy the iPad or wait for the Samsung? I would say wait for the Samsung. I would say wait for the Samsung because I'm a, I mean, I'm I'm a, I like Android's ecosystem better than um, the iPad's ecosystem, and the reason for that is that I feel like the iPad's ecosystem, it's its applications and programmers, developers, and the way you use it and things like that. I just feel like it's under the mercy of. Apple the company and actually personally Steve Jobs himself the the CEO of Apple and you know I don't I don't like that of course anything you buy is under the mercy of the manufacturer of course but it feels like he has a tight death grip on what you can do and how you can do it it's like wow I really wish okay so l l let me give you a real good example let's say I was using the the um 
I got this, the new Samsung Galaxy Tab, and I got the iPad next to me. And um, I said to myself, man, I really wish that this button over here, whatever button, I don't care where, um, was a mute button. I just wish it was a mute button. So what do you have to do to have that happen on the iPad? You have to email Steve Jobs, contact someone, and say, listen, on your next iteration of your operating system, can you turn this into a mute button for me, please? And obviously, they probably wouldn't do it. Now, let's look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Since it's running Android, and doesn't have any DRM really protecting it, because some Android phones... Uh, especially from Samsung at that too so maybe it will but don't allow you to no that's Motorola I'm sorry Motorola has like this def chip in one of their phones that if you try to hack your device then it explodes and <laughs> you can't use your device anymore I don't know if it literally explodes but that's what it you know so if I wanted to have a, a button any button be the mute switch on a Samsung Galaxy Tab I'm, the ecosystem around it, I'm assuming, this is only something based off previous events, that there's going to be a community of hackers that break into the device. And there there are a community of hackers on the iPad too, but it's so much simpler, so much easier to do. In my personal opinion, I've ha- I've, I've hacked, I guess you would call it, an, I- an iPod and an iPhone and an and a, and a, um, Android phone. And, and the operating systems, the way they work... Uh, uh, um, on the inside are com- more comparable to, you know, their predecessors, the iPod and iPad, are comparable, and the Android phones and the Galaxy Tab will be comparable because the operating system built by the same manufacturer. Whatever. whatever. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, you know, I just feel like I will be able to do that a lot simpler. You know what I mean? So, uh, and that's just my personal preference, and that's why I like the ecosystem built around. Uh, uh, Android, uh, Android's operating system compared to um, the iPod, um, Apple's operating system, and mobile operating system. Anyway, so back to the Samsung Galaxy Tab, the new one. Um, I, I feel I was so uh, I was about to buy an iPad too. I was really bu- about to break down and buy an iPad too uh, because. You know, it just was nothing out there and nothing on the horizon either. For I mean, to be honest with you, nothing on the horizon coming out. And, and I, I did a lot of research. Nothing nobody said that was going to be anywhere near as good. Nothing that was going to be as good as the iPad 1. Seriously. Nothing as good as the iPad 1. And um, when, and I, just, I was just so disappointed. But I was going to buy an iPad. I mean, I really wanted a nice tablet I wanted a tablet years years ago um you know you guys you can call me the Bill Gates of tablets because Bill Gates really wanted to invent the tablet but he was poor success and then Apple came out anyway um yeah so uh, I don't know what else to say the Samsung Galaxy tab is nice so let's get down to specs as far as specs wise it seems nice so let's get down to specs you can buy coming in July I do believe don't quote me on that Samsung is going to release a 10 inch 10.1 inch tablet and an 8.9 inch tablet and what so what are they going to have they're both going to be running Android 3.0 Android uh, names its operating systems after ice cream I guess and this is going to be called honeycomb each iteration of Android each version comes out the name after uh, ice cream if you don't know okay and inside is going to have a 1 gigahertz dual core processor which is comparable to the um, processor processor that's in the iPad 2 um, I'm looking at the press release here, and I'll put that press release on the screen so you guys can look for yourself. So let's talk about the models you can buy and the pricing. You're gonna have a 16 gigabyte and 32 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte um, models of each device, and the prices are going to be. I'm trying to stall while I look for the prices here. I'm remembering this. Okay, the prices are gonna be for the 10 inch tablet 4.99. Look at that. Look at that. 16 gigabyte, 499. That's right there with the iPad 2. Right there with it. Neck and neck. And if I had to pick which one, and that's the one I'm going to buy, really. And they have the, uh, but check this out. So this is what I was thinking. You don't want to spend that much. Why don't you just get an iPad 1? Because they are going to be, they are cheaper than the iPad 2, of course. $100 cheaper, actually, at each respective model. Because the iPad also has 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and. Uh, 64 gigabyte models uh, and they're $100 cheaper as their counterparts so 
So why wouldn't I say save your money? Because the iPad One is still a great device. I mean, excellent device. So why not save your money and just get the iPad One? Because for that same, well, not same, but close to that same amount of money, eight the eight point nine Galaxy Tab, eight point nine inch Galaxy Tablet is four sixty nine. Four sixty nine. Fifty more bucks than three ninety nine. You can get, you know, the exact same thing as the iPad two, you know, but smaller. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be ugh, thank God uh Samsung was listening <laughs> to me. I don't know. I didn't email them, but they must be listening to my brain. Why didn't no manufacturer come up with nothing that could compete with the iPad? No one has, no one finally <laughs> I'm rambling man but this is so exciting um am I so I'm, I'm I mean I'm a fan of the Android operating system but if if, if Blackberry or or uh Palm HP now came out with a better tablet I will recommend that one I just enjoy the ecosystem of an Android device and I really want to be able to um you know you you use a, a comparable usable tablet on an Android device. So anyway, that's my ramble about the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. It will be out soon. I have more information. I do more vlogs about it, but I'm excited about it. And um, I hope you guys are too. If you, if you, you know what I'll do. <sighs> if the money isn't funny and the change just isn't strange, I'll buy an iPad 2 and I'll buy the Samsung Galaxy Tab and I'll do a comparison of the two. And let you guys know what I think, cause I, I hate to do a, a biased review of a device, you know. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited about the uh, Galaxy Tab. I don't know if you guys are. You know what? Leave some comments at the bottom. Uh, this should be posted on YouTube, also as face, also on Facebook, and also on Twitter. So you can tweet me at Jeff Me Jones. You can follow me on Twitter. I mean, that's. I mean, of course, that's Twitter. And you, can, my YouTube channel, which most of you probably see this on. Uh, it's Jeff Me Jones, and um, look forward to some more great videos. Like I said, I got another how-to coming up, um, and I got some great ideas for some other videos. And uh, an update to this video will be coming as as updates come out about this device and reviews and things like that. All right, peace.